What's going on guys? Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of a, another React application that I did. This one was done with React and Gatsby and then I'm using Google's Firebase real-time database. Gatsby is usually associated with static sites but in this fitness tracker application here I'm able to have users sign up, make an account, save different exercises and then save their entire workout which gets stored on the database and then they can view previous workouts and delete workouts as well so i have this welcome page here with sign in or sign up we'll do a sign up enter your email or any kind of email we'll just do demo at demo.com do a demo password here. And I have this form here with a little get it. Uh, you have the name of the exercise and the number of reps. And then you can save the exercise and when you're done, save the total workout. So you can do sit ups 100. We'll do push-ups 20 we'll do curls and then you can either just save the workout now or I have it to where if they enter in an exercise and then hit save workout, it'll save that exercise as well. So we'll say cardio two miles and I'll hit the uh, save workout. So it brings you to the previous workouts page where you can view previous workouts. I have the date the list of exercises and reps for all your exercises for the workout and you can delete workouts as well. And then I look in the code here. I have my navigation components. Let's see I've got a form container. This is like the main so this is where I had the welcome page if there is no user, and if there is a user, I have the form where they can save exercises or save workouts. Uh, the submit exercise handler, I get the exercise from the form. And the way I've been doing this is when they save an exercise, I save that into local storage and I just keep adding to the exercises and saving it in local storage. And plus that way, if they leave the page and come back, it can still be there. And then when they save the workout, I grab the exercises from the local storage and then save it to the database as a finished workout. So yeah, get the exercise and then I, I get any exercises from local storage if there are any and I push the new one onto the array of exercises and then I set exercises in local storage again with the new exercise added on. Make sure they're authenticated and still logged in. If they are, I save the exercise and then clear the fields. And then when they save the workout, I get the user ID, their exercise, I get the workout from the list of exercises from local storage. I create a date, I format the date, and then I add that date to the beginning of the array of the workouts. And that's how I get the, uh, the date there on the, each workout. And then as far as saving the workout, if they're, like I was saying, if if this is empty in the hit save workout, that's fine. Or if they have it filled out, they can still save the workout. And I'll grab that exercise as well. That's what this is. So if there is an exercise, 
I push that on to the new exercises and then save the workout. But if there's nothing in the fields, I'll just save the workout. So I have my Redux store here. Got my reducers and actions my workouts action file let's see so when we fetch workouts from the database pass in the user id get their workouts and then yeah if we get that if that's a success we save the workout and then it's the way that uh the way that Firebase saves data into the real-time database is it's an object where the key of the object is a unique key for the entry to the database, and then the value is whatever you saved into the database. So for me, that's an array of exercises. So it's an object that we get back, and so I do an object.entries, which turns it into an array, and then I reverse that array to make the more recent workouts, you know, display first when they view their previous workouts. And then I do a fetch workout success. If we go to the workouts page, this is where we're looping through the workouts. So that unique ID I was talking about, we are destructuring the workouts in the map method where we grab the workout ID and then this is the array of exercises for the workout. And then I grab the first item in the array of exercises, which is the date. And then while looping through those exercises, I have a workout component where I send in the exercises as workout and I pass in the workout ID and then that's also the key for the workout, uh, the date, and then the user ID, which I'll need for deleting workouts as well. And then in the actual workouts component, so I have the, the workout and I slice it so that, because that first item in the array is the date. So I'm starting from the second item in the array and loop through the workout, which are the array of exercises. And I return this div where I have the exercise and the reps. And then in the actual, for the actual workout component, I have the date and the exercise and then the button for the delete handler. So anyways, that's a demo of the app and a little look at the code. I know it's a little more involved to actually make an account and use the app to see what it's like. So I wanted to throw this video up there. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching.